Hey, have you ever wanted to render your videos in full HD on YouTube? Have you ever wanted to, you know, make it so crystal clear? Well, if you have, well, you have come to the right video then. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to render your video in full HD in Adobe After Effects, CS, whatever it is. Uh, no matter, it doesn't matter what your version you're going to be using. So, okay, now. I know now I'm just gonna be you know sh um, you know quickly doing this so open up your Adobe After Effects just drag in a video and y'all just do it manually just go to file uh, you got to import something file and go to your video you want uh, this is a this is a video I made on the um, how to uh, you know put in gunshot effects using Adobe After Effects so I did that just drag it into the filmy thing and it should come right over here now what you do is okay once you're done with the editing and stuff I'm not gonna be editing it much because it's not um, I don't want to you know like I'm just gonna make it a bit darker uh, you know, just make it a bit you know whatever just do what you want you know what I mean right uh, okay once you're done with the editing and stuff what you do now is go back uh, you know you need to go back to your you go ahead do the whatever you want now now go to your render queue just go ahead and drag in the composition or what the file you want to render drag it in here now what you do is uh, as you can see render settings right here just click the best set the, the thing over here just click it now you gotta set quality as best uh, uh, quite that's quite obvious you need your size to be at 1280 by 720p uh, you need uh, yeah that's that and now directly we jump from there to here let all this be the same now come to frame rate and use this frame rate okay 29.97 okay because that's the uh, frame rate YouTube wants even if you put it as 30 it'll eventually convert it into 29.97 which is actually a waste using it all that all the only thing that's gonna happen is basically your uh, video file will become big and it'll suck I mean, it won't suck. It'll be the same thing, and just it's just gonna, you know, waste time rendering and stuff. But if you're gonna, if you do, if you're uploading it to some other website, go ahead, use 30 frames or whatever. And once you're done with that, just click OK. I'll, okay, I'll give you a minute to copy my settings. Just go ahead and do that. All right, time's up. Okay, now just press OK. Now come to Output Module and click log, click this. Okay, whatever was away, just click it and now you'll see this thing okay so what you do is now go to this based on lossless format go ahead you need you need quicktime movie i'll put the link in the description where you can download quicktime movie so go ahead and do that make sure include source xmp metadata is unticked and let this be ticked now let this remain none uh, rgb just let these three things stay as it is now if you have an audio in the uh, video you just go ahead and click Audio output don't mess with these things because they'll eventually just mess up everything and give you a screwed up output. So leave that as it. If you want the output ticket, otherwise just leave it. Or just leave it unticked. I'm just turn a ticket because there's audio in this. So now next you go to format options. Now what you do is compression type. Go ahead and put it as H2.264. Uh, let the keyframes and all this thing be the same. And make sure this is on best. Once you're done with that, just click OK. Now this will come, just ignore it, just click OK because it's already, it'll automatically be set to H.264, especially quality equal 100 most, that's the highest. I'll give you a minute to copy that, copy it. Okay, now you don't want to, you don't want to go to this color management, management and screw it up there. So just go ahead, click OK, and uh, you are ready to render just go ahead and click render it should render I'm not gonna render it now but I will I've got a video that I've already rendered and uh, it's ready for showing it's an intro I have made basically you can say I'll just show you uh, I'll tell you what I'll just put it in the end of the video because there's a lot of lag my computer is not all that fast and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, please show some support by liking commenting and subscribing and yeah do what you guys normally do I'll see you in the next tutorial see ya bye bye